Hello from our new office at our home in Seward, Alaska. Yep, headquarters. Headquarters, that's right. Still a work in progress. We will show you around here in a few minutes. It's been uh, probably about three weeks since we've picked up the camera and uh, communicated with you guys <laughs> and uh, got we have quite a bit to uh, catch you up on. Yeah, I was a little surprised when we started making the list of things to talk to yeah, you guys about. Like, exactly. wow, a lot's happened. But uh, honestly, since we've come home, we haven't tarried too far from here. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a lot to kind of get caught up with around the house. We've been, all, been gone 11 months. No. So there's just things to do. <laughs> a um, lot of things. Yeah. But they're getting done. They are. And Ben did spend, what, like 15 hours yeah, editing? solid 15, that, 20 hours yeah. on that Baja video. How to survive and thrive in Baja. Mm -hmm. I know I'm a little biased, but I have to say that particularly the intro made me a little teary-eyed. I thought it was really good. You know, and that's the type of content that we're going to be producing on the educational front. Yeah. And visually engaging, straight to the point stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what you guys have to look forward to in the future on our channel. This is what is coming. And being home will give me the time to maybe expand the craft. Get more maybe creative. Maybe some more effects, transitions, you know, yeah. take some of the pressure off. Yeah. Uh, but then it was time to go fishing. The uh, Reds showed up in Seward and when they show up... Ben goes fishing. <laughs> well, hey, I am a noble man who wants to put food on the table for his family, so I go fishing. I was a noble woman and went too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I spent four days out fishing myself. You joined me for, for two. two of them. Mm -hmm. And we walked away with 83 pounds of wild sockeye salmon for the freezer. Oh, it tastes so good. Yeah, it's a great start to the year. Uh, you can see more pictures on Instagram and might as well just follow us on Instagram as well while you're there. And Facebook. Oh yeah, all those usual suspects. We also got out and about a little bit with our kayaks. Uh, we, we went out with Dan and Michelle. Um, they've gotten to be really good friends of ours these last few years. And I have to say, like, I knew I missed the kayaks this winter. Kayaking is like in my blood. It is one of my favorite things to do. And when we hit the water that day, I was just like, in heaven it was one of the struggles in the camper but well that'll be a whole nother video is not having our toys yeah. yeah especially i mean the kayaks like you exercise you get out and you get fresh air mm -hmm. you get on the water we're both like water people it was wonderful so we went out to bear lake um kayaked around the point kind of thing mm -hmm. to um where the salmon spawn and try to get really some spawning. Footage. It's They're a it's yet. a whole complicated program. Yeah. But it's where the salmon stack up. How about <laughs> it's that? It's where they think they're going to spawn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's next on the list? Hey, we've had bonfires uh, yeah. in the yard. Yeah. That's something that's been nice in the camper oh. is that we've been uh, making fires more and actually camping, mm -hmm. and we've been kind of really enjoying bringing that. that out in our daily lives here as well. We have. Uh, by making campfires out in our bonfire pit with friends and uh, we've even had the opportunity to meet up with you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. You're better with names, Beck. So who's so come Dan to uh, say hi? Dan and Bree came to say hi. I'm sorry. And, <laughs> and then also, um, uh, oh God, now Eric and Alice. It, thank you. 50-50 ah, on that. There we go. And of course, Dan and Michelle. Dan and Michelle and, and some Clinton, local friends. Yeah, neighbors and all that. Yep. It's been really nice. But on that note, if you guys are coming to Seward and want to meet up with us, we want to meet up with Hello. you too. <laughs> Just try to give us some notice, you know, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram or any of those other things. And if well, we're, if home, we're home, yeah, you know, we'll try to hook up. That's half the fun of you guys coming up here and us being here. It's really fun to get to see everybody traveling up here this year. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's time to answer some questions. Uh, like, why did we come home? Well, we have spent the better part of four years on the road, full-time traveling, and it is exhausting. I don't even know how much the traveling was exhausting as much as some of the life events we've had in the yeah. last couple of years. Second reason, little Shelby Bug. She is 17 this year. And still a rock star. Yeah. 
um, still doing really well, but she had a rough spring. The past um, two years have been rough, but have. the spring ever since like February. Yeah. Well, we'd gotten her yeah. completely off all of the medicines she'd been on for her autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. And then she, well, went, right before we went to Mexico, was prescribed some allergy medicines. And <clears throat> they did not sit well mm -hmm. with her GI tract. We'll just break yeah. that way. That's why we ended up coming home early from Mexico, because we couldn't get it under control down there. Yeah. So... Then she I had a relapse. She did, but, yeah. You know, that led to a little relapse. Get into all that yeah. at a, some other point. And I don't know how much of it is that we're tired from surviving this with her, or that she does. I, it's a combination of we're exhausted, and she had a really hard time in Denny. One of her pleasures, simple pleasure, is she loves to wander. She will wander all around the house for and hours. In the thirty-two foot motorhome, she had room to wander. Uh, in the camper, she has like a five foot uh, space, like the length of the counter, and three feet in the foot area of the, the dinette, dinette, which is where she ate. But also, the camper doesn't have leveling jacks, so we're not always level. And our box sits on like a, a subframe on a three point system, so that thing just rocks all the time. And with her neurological issues, it's just really difficult for her to maintain balance mm -hmm. and. It's just, it's just, you know, a challenge. She, and she is a tremendous priority in our lives and we want to give her the best life possible we do. and coming home just felt right. It did. I think that's the bottom line. It doesn't mean we won't go back out with her. She's doing really well and everything on the road fortunately was solved with uh, antibiotics and steroids, which are fortunately dirt cheap yeah. and an onslaught of uh, natural remedies, which have made a world of difference yeah. as well. We are kind of big on the... But, naturopathic yeah. solutions so this is old footage but she has really enjoyed when we take her outside and we chase her around the house and she knows That's the game exercise. like you know it's just a matter of getting her going and then she goes and she's like well dang it they're not gonna let up until i go all the way around the house and then we make her go around again but it's just it warms our heart to see her happy and thriving here at home guys yeah i think one of the other big factors in us deciding to come home and it may sound strange, but it's really the, we need to up the ante with the brand. We have a mm -hmm. lot of big projects that we want to take on. And that's pretty challenging to do when you're on the road, looking for a place to stay every night, dealing with all of the, the life events that happen with yeah. traveling. And we are all in on our His and Her brand. We are. Uh, Rebecca doesn't have a job anymore, so it's just our own personal endeavors keeping us alive and afloat right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, and we've got the website, hisandhershub.com. Mm -hmm. We've got some new courses that we're working yep. on developing and scheduled out here. And It's just you need the time. You do. Yep. You need the time. That's but exactly it. We are still going to overland drive around the world. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. We just have to wait for the time to be right. Well, maybe 70% right. Okay, right well, it's never going to be perfectly right, but <laughs> right enough. How about that? Yeah. One of our other goals while we're on this home stretch here is to take better care of ourselves. Yeah. That was something that we really felt like fell off while we were learning to live in Denny. Kind of quit taking our vitamins. It was yeah. much harder to eat healthy food because the kitchen wasn't perfect. And we traveled more. We did. That. Um, but that's a whole nother video. It is. And the fact that we couldn't go run back and make a meal. That, that just all kinds yeah. of different challenges. Unique new challenges. Way of living. But now that we're home we are going to make efforts to improve the quality of our life and take care of ourselves better. We've been hitting Costco and getting all Tons kinds of, of amazing fruits and veggies. Uh, we're going to be eating a wild game again mm -hmm. instead of store-bought stuff. I've so missed that. I know. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's really nice yeah. coming home, popping over that freezer. Oh, we have some salmon, <laughs> some halibut, good stuff. <laughs> and we're already out kayaking mm -hmm. and... We're gonna fishing, and there's a pool right down the street yep. from us, and we we're integrating daily exercise and activity yeah. into our lives. Uh, another thing that we're doing to improve quality of life, I guess, is we're gonna make a separation between 
work and personal time. And I know that sounds very odd given the nature of what we do here on YouTube, but I'm more referencing like what happens behind the scenes. Yeah, the work part of it, exactly. not what we share. It adds up. It does. And it's, it's not really as sustainable. Hard when you work in the same space that you recreate or relax in. And as much as we that. love driving in some respects, well, every mile behind the wheel is a challenge. And like we've said earlier, finding places to park for the night, uh, always moving. It, we're just going to make this office our workspace and we can literally turn it on and turn it off. We did it for the first time last night. It exactly. actually worked. It does work. It was like nine o'clock at night, but we did it. Exactly. <laughs> so let's show you guys around our office and bear in mind, it is a work in progress, but. All right. Well, any recording studio has to have an amazing backdrop. So the bookcase here is what we've created yes. for a backdrop and really tells a story about us, places we've been, places we live. Um, things Just that we love. Treasures that we have collected from around the world as well. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat, guys. And we're going to have a table set up. Right like, here. Right here. So there's room for actually four people to sit. We're probably going to need yeah. a wide angle lens for uh, our interviews here, but it's mm -hmm. going to be great, guys. And podcasts. We'll get into that. Yes. Too. So we did make the investment in some... Uh, new office furniture. I have a desk for us to utilize and uh, it's great. I'm very happy that we now have a place to work and the lighting in here is great. So spin it around, but it'll probably go all bleached out. But this is the view into our backyard and we're gonna have like some type of a sheer uh, curtain then a uh, blackout curtain so we can control the lighting. And that's one of the best parts about creating this studio is that we can control the elements. Someone else has a new bed on order, but she's pretty approving already of her new space in our office. So the big question on your mind after we tell you all of this about being home is hmm. probably, well, what are you going to be doing? What does the future hold? Are you going to become boring? <laughs> yeah. Well, our life will never be boring. <clears throat> no, but we will basically... We had run out of roads in Alaska with Nellie, and having Denny, because it's four-wheel drive, opens up this whole new world for us exactly. that we never had access to. So we're going to go take advantage of that while we're home. Mm -hmm. There's localized uh, adventures in South Central Alaska that we'll do, you know, two-hour drive here, four- or five-hour drive. Uh, but on a grander scale, uh, we would like to make the journey up to Tuktoyuktuk -tuk on the shores of the Arctic Ocean. And it is a very new adventure. Uh, the highway, said loosely, uh, opened in 2017. So it's only a couple years old. Like, yeah. how privileged are we to be close to it? And I say close, <laughs> but it's actually 1,200 12 miles each way to uh, the shores of the Arctic. Yeah. Still, within I reach. might actually get in the Arctic there. Okay, uh, um, I'll save that clip. Um, so, also, got the idea of a little more extreme one since we are up here and we are going to be sticking around for the winter. I'm just going to call it Ice Road Overlanders. Yes, <laughs> I have the idea of driving up the Hall Road to Prudhoe Bay in the winter months talking minus 20 to minus 60 degree temperatures uh very extreme a lot of people have probably seen that tv show is kind of popular i just think uh you know up the ante yeah it'll take a minute to get her on board a minute <laughs> All right, well, winter in Alaska. Ben kind of already let the cat out of the bag yeah. a minute ago. Um, we won't commit to anything for sure because whenever we do, we end up rolling back on our words, but yeah. <clears throat> we are going to be home for some portion of the winter. A significant portion. It's yeah. going to be base camp. There's going to be yeah. trips outside, Yeah. but there's going to be Alaska in the winter. Yeah, we yeah. had planned on this a couple of years ago. Rest up, get ready to go overseas. Hit the reset button. We're going to do that now. Yeah. 
We never got the chance. It is happening. It is. It started. <laughs> yes, it has. I feel much more rested. What's next? So how do we plan on doing these adventures with our beloved Shelby? Well, I'm going to drive the Alcan again <laughs> uh, this week, actually. Uh, Rebecca's mom is going to drive up and explore the state this summer. And we in her class A. In her class A. Uh, so I'm going to fly down to Seattle and uh, just help her get through Canada and across the Alcan in a fairly timely manner, being by herself with two dogs. Yeah, It's nice to have a second uh, driver. Exactly. That's what it is. And, you know, we could help mom out because mom's an international traveler, hence where you got your international <laughs> travel bug from. It's hereditary. And uh, so she's going to stick around for the summer and help us watch Shelby while we go and do our extreme trips. trips and then if she wants to go fly off somewhere we can watch the boys it's a win-win situation yep all right next question what exactly does this mean for the vlog i.e you, you. <laughs> <laughs> it means good things it means amazing great things it means generating a lot of content we've always wanted to create mm -hmm. um in terms of schedule kind of thing we're thinking probably one vlog a week of an adventure yes definitely mm -hmm. one adventure a week is mandatory yep and then at least one other video of like more of an educational content yeah. or it could different be Alaska topics. Content. It could be Alaska content yeah. or topics we've always wanted to discuss and cover. But having the stability here and this workplace mm -hmm. is gonna totally facilitate the creation of new content. I also think there may be some collaborations in our future because oh yeah, everybody's in Alaska again this summer. Yeah, totally. So yeah. Lots of collaborations. You don't have to worry about things getting boring on here. Or we don't generate videos. Yeah. We're still no. going to be right there with it. All right. Well, I think you know just about everything we know at this point. So it's time to close out this video. Thanks for joining us today. If you want to stick around for the adventures we have planned this summer, hit that subscribe button, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.